I don't care. I really do not care. Listen, if I hear the voice of your wife on this phone again, you won't like what I'll do to this baby. Hi! Let me talk to him. Uh, hello, sir. Hello? Sir, please, I am begging you. Don't harm my baby. Please. Please. Please, sir. Please, sir. Oh, I'm on my knees. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Give me the phone. Stop that nonsense. Hello, Mr. Man. I'm talking to you. Who are you? Who you think you are? Eh? You better stop this nonsense. Stop this nonsense and come out of your shell. Let's just let's, let's do this man to man, okay? You can't do you can't do nothing. Are you done ranting? I said, are you done ranting? Good. In the next hour, I will give you a call. You're a coward, I'm telling you. Okay, listen to me, listen to me, listen to me. Right now, I'm going to put on my wife's phone again. Yes, I will do it. If you call yourself a man, try it. I dare you to touch my baby. And you see the stuff I'm made of. Do it! You'll be the one to lose because I will impregnate my wife again and you will not be alive to witness tomorrow. Hey. I'm telling you. Fuck you. Give me, give me, give me a baby. Hello? Hello? Tell me, who did you wrong? Who is paying you back? Because I don't get it. I'm tired of all this. My blood pressure is rising up. I can't take it. Tell me, who have you hurt? So I will apologize to the person. The question should be, which of your ex-girlfriends is behind this? Because I know you. You can't keep that thing in between your legs at a place. I know you. I have told you times with that number. I don't have any other ex-girlfriend except Linda. And Linda I know too well. She can't do this. Yeah. She can't go this length. Of course. You trust her so much. Yet you never married her. Listen to me. Linda is the one behind this, but she will know the kind of person that I am when anything happens to my child. Okay, I hear you right. Let me tell you something. You don't know what you are doing. You don't know what you're up against until it's confirmed something happens to my son. Then you know who you are dealing with. Mm -hmm. Tell me now, did you offend anybody? Did I offend them? Because me, I didn't offend anybody. Did you? The phone is ringing. How did you Hello? Hello, nice guy. Nice guy. I said I should tell you that uh, I, I, I was just joking, eh? Uh, please, please. We are tired of all this, please. We don't want to play games anymore. Can you just name your prize, please? We are begging hey. you. My wife and I, our blood pressure is rising. We can't take it anymore. I, I know you are a gentleman. I know you. you I, I provoked you, I know, but I know you can forgive me. Yeah, you you're, have a forgiving spirit. You're, you're, you're a fine man. Sir, you're a fine man. Sir, you're so cute. Sir, I know your heart and your face is as cute as your voice. I don't need to see for me to know now. Sir, please, let nothing happen to my child. I am begging you in the name of God. Please, sir. Hello? Okay. Out of room is cute. Come to my and tell me. Hello, sir. Sir? As I was saying, sir, I'm sorry I provoked you. 
I'm sorry. I know you're a very nice person. We have confirmed. Yeah, my wife and I, we, we know you are very nice. Yeah. We are nearly done, sir. So we are nearly right now. Please just tell us, eh? We, we can't challenge you. We have nobody before you. We are, we, are, we are not mad to challenge you, sir. Please. You are the overall and overall. Everything. You are everything. You are the top. Forgive us. You are a phenomenal Forgive. man. Forgive us. Forgive Please, us. Sir. You are phenomenal. You are phenomenal, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir? Sir? Mr. Alex. I know everyone will be worried and be bothered about your well-being and that of your family. But I need you to listen to me carefully. I do not want anyone close to your house. I repeat, I don't want anybody close to your house. I'm not joking and do not try to disobey me. And I also want you to switch off your business line. I don't want it on or that of your foolish wife. If you dare disobey me, you won't like what I will do to this baby. Dare me. He called you stupid and foolish. I think this whole thing is tied to you. It is connected and tied to you. Because that's your ex-girlfriend that called herself Linda has never been happy that I'm able to produce, I mean, a bouncing baby boy for you. You went to a deity. You consulted a deity to give you a baby. How barbaric can ah, you be? Ah, please, shut your mouth. Look at a bunch of offenses. Look at who is talking. Were you not there? Were you not a witness? Didn't you sign the papers? I only went to church for prayers. Really? Yes. And that was how I was able to know that that same ex of yours tied my womb. Thank God for the kabash and the robosh. You know what? Everything that's coming out of your mouth is absolute nonsense, and I'm tired of it. Oh, now come back here! Come back here, please! Let me think you're going to. Start calling that your ex to provide my child for me. Because if anything happens to him, you will have me to contend with. Start calling her. Out of my way. Anako. Out of my way. Anako. Anako. You will give me today. You will, you will say you want me or... Out of my way. You want me or... Out of my way. Okay, now. Nah. What is happening to us right now is enough huh. for me to. Just get out of my way. Oh, there I still leave my way. I'm not. Uh huh. Baby, hold on. Now you're holding me now. Ah. Calm down now. You are even holding me. You are even holding me, Seth. You are even holding me. You are, you are even holding me. You are even holding me, Seth. You see all this breast milk that is accumulating here? You will come and start sucking this breast milk if you don't provide my child for me. Sorry. Eh, please now. But we're not supposed to be doing this. Just call that guy. Talk to him man to man. You know the way you convinced me to marry you? Convinced him like that. So that we can have our child back. Baby. I know this your head is still functioning. Eh? This same head. Because of it, I married you. Let it work. The water is the best functioning. It's working well. Call him. My sweetheart. My baby. My sugar pie. My strawberry, my pepperito. Oh, my boo boo. My boo, my boo. No one can run away from the past. You can never run away from your past. Huh? What is that? How am I supposed to know? Joe, no one is responding. Could someone be in there? Do I call the police or what? 
No, 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 no. It has not gotten to the point of calling the police. Okay, L- let me let me try and figure out a means to handle this. Okay, just just calm down for some time. Okay, let's leave that for now. Please call me back when you're leaving the estate. Okay. Move it. Move it. Drive the car. Drive the car. Boy. Listen to me, you're not here to exchange words with me. Do what I said. Sit and be quiet! If I ask you to sit down again, will be you sitting in hell. What do you want? What? What's all this? Sit! You think I'm here to exchange words with you? Listen, man, I think you're doing the wrong thing. Right. Tie your boot legs now! Come on! Tie your legs!
God, but I thank you for making a whole lot of mistakes. I can sort this out. Listen, one more word from you again, I will blow your brains off. <clears throat> Go ahead! Asking to tie my hands now. Go ahead. How did this bastard go to my house just when my existence got poured? If it happens, if anything happens, I'm gonna pay for it. So you left me for that thing. I saw the both of you at the mall. You meant that shit, Alex. For your information, the woman you refer to as that thing is my wife already. I will love and cherish her all the rest of my life. So you trampled on the genuine love we shared because of her? There is no love without respect. And respect is the life of every relationship. You wanted promotion, right? You wanted everything to fall at your feet. You forgot the love we shared, the trust, everything. Yes, you did. You vividly told me you have forgiven me. I have forgiven you. But I can't take you back. Simple. You slept with our boss. And you want me to forgive and marry you? And remain answerable to a wife who became my superior as a result of infidelity? Alex, your wife will suffer for what she knows nothing about. Let's have a bet. I'm not having a bet with you. You have no right to feel scorned, Linda. You crossed your threshold the moment you opened your legs for the CEO of Epic Value Consults. Enjoy yourself. used to be your girlfriend, your ex for that matter. I am now your wife. We've been married for three years now. Babe, what are you insinuating? What I am saying is, as your wife, I am no longer comfortable with my husband working in the same company with his ex. Okay, so how does that affect our relationship? You see the cause of us not having a baby yet? Oh, babe, you, I mean, you can't even see it. That woman is our problem. She has never been happy with this relationship or this marriage. So she can go to any extent to do anything. Don't get it wrong, okay? Please, baby, don't get it wrong. I have known Linda for a very long time. We dated, yes. She's my ex, but I know her very well. The truth is, if not for the fact that she messed up, she slept with her boss, by now, maybe, just, just, Eh? Eh? No. Go ahead. No, go ahead. By, by now she would have not. Let's forget about oh, that. Okay? You would have married her. Wait. 
You would have married her. I just said that. Calm down. Please. I'm begging you, okay? Let me tell you what. You see, that singular act of fast living with our boss made me quit the relationship. And that is final. Nothing can take me back to her. You are my wife. And I love you so much. Linda is the problem of this marriage and relationship and I want you to expunge her from our lives. Honey? Baby. Baby. Trust. You have to trust me. Yes, we work in the same office, but I promise you, I will have nothing to do with her. The love that we share is embedded in trust. Honestly, I don't know what to do. I don't know what else to say. I'm beginning to think right of what you said about Linda. Really? For the first time in your life, you are accepting what I told you about Linda. You're beginning to get back to your senses. Even though it's late. If we report to the police, our child may die. Now that we have not reported to the police, the kidnapper has not been able to name his price. He has not said anything about his ransom. What's going on? Linda, even if we mention her name in this matter, we don't have an evidence against her, do we? Why are you telling you to bring that child to the sacred altar of Adam? Do you want to die? No, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Why, Yoda? I told you that someone kidnapped my son. I've been pleading with you to help me. Please. Please. He who walks alone does not know that the white cat is a tiger species. You must bring that child to the sacred altar of a domo. Else you face the inevitable price of death for not fulfilling the promise of yours. Help me. Please. 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 Hey!